everyone. I'm going to show you some basic features of how to use the EduCreations Whiteboard app. When you go into EduCreations, you will be more than likely, what you'll be greeted with is your automatic blank whiteboard screen. What I want you to do is get out of your whiteboard screen and it's this box here with the left hand arrow and it'll take you back to your dashboard. Now, right now my dashboard has my created lessons in it. Yours will be blank. What you're gonna to wanna to do is hit this gear at the bottom left hand corner and you're gonna to wanna to go in and create an account right away. This will allow you to save your created lessons and they will appear in your dashboard. You will see some options to log in, create an account, so on and so forth. Go ahead and do that first before you start um, messing with it. I'm already logged in, so I'm gonna close. And to create a new lesson from your dashboard, you simply hit the plus sign and that opens you up into your whiteboard app. Okay, so what you wanna do before you actually start creating your lesson is you wanna plan it out just like you would plan a lesson that you teach face-to-face. -face. Almost storyboard this. So you wanna think about what content you wanna put and have presented to the students already for each slide and what you wanna say and what you think you're gonna annotate. So you wanna load up your slides with some content before you actually start recording and talking. So on the bottom right hand corner, you see this forward arrow. You're gonna um, go ahead and press that and that will advance and add a slide to your presentation. And you keep adding, adding, adding. And that gives you, you can do as many slides as you want and you can always add more obviously as you go. I'm just gonna start with five. Now I'm gonna hit the left arrow, go back. And now I'm back to slide one, because I see one out of five. And um, up here, I'm gonna show you some basic features. You have your kind of toolbar here at the top. Um, right now my pen is highlighted, so that means I can draw and I'm gonna choose my different colors. Okay. So that's what you're gonna use to annotate. And what's nice is with EduCreations and Explain Everything, um, when you're in the recording of your lesson uh, you and you're talking and you're writing as you go, it will record it in real time. So that's really, that's really great. You can use the eraser to erase what you have drawn. There's also this backwards, the back arrow here. I can touch that and that will just, you know, undo what I had previously done, okay. Um, up here in the top right, I can, I do have a couple of options for a background, not great, um, but some I can do lined paper, graph paper, coordinate grid. Um, I can duplicate pages, so let's say I'm working on like a math problem and I wanna keep that same problem for a couple of pages I could duplicate the page, duplicate the page and the ink or what I've written. Um, so that's a, those are some nice features. I uh, hit the plus sign and these will give me options for my content that's free. Okay. So I type that, I touch the A and this allows me to type. So anywhere on the screen I tap and I get my keyboard. and I can start typing my text and I will spell correctly, okay? So now just like any other um, mobile device, I can move it around, okay? Um, again, I can duplicate this if I want more than one. I want to select you know, each one to move it separate. I can lock something so I don't accidentally move it. I can move this one, but see the lock signs there, I can't move that one. I can unlock it. Um, if I wanna edit the text, make it bigger, um, make it smaller. So I hit the, the A plus, A minus. I can make my text bigger or smaller. I can increase my text box. I can change the color of my text. Okay, so options here, all kinds of things. What you can insert as much text as you want. 
um, wherever you want. And then if I want to do a picture, what's nice, if I hit the landscape button, I can access any saved photos. This is my, um, my husband's iPad I'm using right now. Um, so if I've taken some screenshots and saved those, um, I can pull anything from my, my recent photos. I could also pull, pull photos from Dropbox or Google Drive. What I typically end up just doing is hitting the search button and search for images. So like when I was making my, my fraction video, I just searched five sixths and you know, I got some options for my images I wanted to use. And again, you can resize. I'm just dragging, opening and close and I can move it all over. Again, same options here. So I have options to rotate. I can fit my height, fit width. Okay, I can lock that as well. So those are your basic. Um, and then if I wanted to take a photo, I can hit the camera button and take a photo of something I want right now. So let's say you want to take a photo of like a page from a workbook or you wanted to take a photo of a tool or a resource or take a photo of something for a science experiment or, you know, anything that you needed a specific image for, you can take a photo and use that um, right then and there. Okay. These ones in the bottom um, are unlocked with Pro, but I really, I'm fine not using them. Okay. So I'm going to advance my slide and I do this all over again. So whatever lesson you're teaching, you're going to load up, okay, tap, load up your text, arrange it, images, pictures, all that stuff, and you're going to go through, do that slide by slide. And then when you have your slides all ready to go, they look great, you're set, you want to go ahead and teach your lesson and record your lesson. And so the way you do that is you go to this red record microphone button, right? You're going to press it and it's going to automatically start recording. And then you are going to start talking and you're going to talk and you're going to annotate as you go and advance your slides as you go and talk and annotate, talk and annotate, whatever you want to do. So I'll show you here. I'm going to hit the button. And so now it's recording my lesson. So if I were to make, any kind of annotations as I'm talking, that's what's going to show up. So at, at second 15, if I did this, that will show up. I'm going to move to my next slide. I'm going to talk and teach and talk and teach and explain, and I'm going to annotate and do whatever it is I'm going to do to make, to highlight or call something out on my slide. And you do that, you move forward, you move forward until you get to the end. Okay, when you're all done with your explanations, you're going to hit pause. Okay, now what's nice about EduCreations is you can pause actually at any point in your lesson. If you feel yourself getting flustered, just pause it. It pauses the recording. You can take a breath and you can resume back again and continue teaching and continue going and it'll seem like nothing nothing happened if all of a sudden your dog starts barking okay we're gonna we're gonna pause the video um child is screaming one of the two as we're all doing in remote learning right now so if you want to go back and you want to listen um what's nice you hit this play and now the editor feature comes in okay and this is where um, you can either, like when I was doing my, um, when I was doing my video, my demo video, I went and scrapped the first 10 seconds of what I said, because I didn't like it, but I had all my slides set up. So you can trim, I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to, if I didn't like what I just said, um, like I knew I coughed at the end, I can trim out five seconds worth. And then drag it over and I'm going to listen to see how that sounds. Nothing happened. Okay.